Hello everyone, Roy Kirkhouse here. You can color inkjet prints with a black and white photo with uh, Marshall Photo Oils. So typically in the past I have used a gloss acrylic medium in order to do that. So you use it as a coating and on top of that you can use the Marshall Photo Oils. So several people now have asked me why I use a glossy medium and not a matte one. And the straightforward answer for that is that I had this gloss medium readily available because I also use it to make glazes to color with acrylics on canvas, which is a glossy canvas. So that question about the medium made me curious about the matte, using a matte acrylic medium. So in this video, I will compare the differences in coding the same photo, these guys here, and using a gloss medium and a matte medium. So stick around. I printed both 8 by 12 inch black and white photos of stairs at South Carlsbad State Beach with my Epson P20000 on Breathing Colors Luster Vibrance photo paper, which is an aqueous inkjet paper. Next, I taped the photos to a cardboard by the corner so the paper doesn't warp when I'm going to spray and coat it, and it also makes it a little bit easier carrying around the piece. Outdoors, I spray both the photos with Golden Gloss Archival Varnish. So this is to prevent the inks from running when I add the acrylic medium later. I did this spraying twice with a few hours of drying time in between. Note that thus far I have treated both photos in the same way, even though I'm showing it only for one of them. But now I'm going to roll a matte acrylic medium on one photo and a gloss one on the other. On this photo here, I'm using golden matte medium. I pour some of it in a tray and pick it up with a roller with a 3 8 inch nap size. I roll it a couple of times to get good coverage. For the second photo, I pour some golden gloss glazing liquid in a tray and also pick this up with a new clean roller with a 3 8 inch of a nap size. Also for this one, I roll it a couple of times to get good coverage. But I haven't really paid attention to how long it was drying. Actually, I had it dry overnight, so it was it was for sure dry the next day, but this actually would, would also be already dry in a couple of hours or so. So I'm curious myself about the, the matte, um, the matte acrylic medium. So I'm going to start with that, coloring this first. So let's grab, let's see, big surfaces first which is the stairs and the background. I'm going to use a lot of burnt sienna. Like that. And then we're going to use cotton rounds and Q-tips to add and remove paint. So I'll grab myself a few cotton rounds. Pick up some of that color and let's start adding it. Let's see how that feels. So I do I do see the structure. You can see the little rib effect or like texture for sure comes through. Uh, 
Let's see how easy this removes. Or hard. Okay, so, so that and the... There's a big difference with using the gloss medium. It, it removes much easier if when you use the, the gloss one. It's the first time I'm using the matte. I have a lot of experience with the gloss. And I can already tell you that it's harder to remove the paint from the gloss from the matte one, which is what I'm using working with now. I mean it's working. I don't think let's just try that. Let's take a cotton swab and see how easy that removes. It does remove. Just not as easy as the gloss one. And you can hear us making a lot of sound. It's very rough. I'm afraid if I if I push too hard, I will damage the photo. So I'm not going to push too hard. Okay, let's go back to here. So it picks up a lot of color. It also picks up more color than you would with the, um, the gloss. So in the back here where I want it subtle, I think I need to push down much softer than I do with with the gloss medium. up a little more for the bushes here. And I want to add some green here. And then the railing will get some. I mean, I do look, I do like the, the total matte look of it. There we go. Maybe a little more on the bluffs. All right. So I did another piece earlier where I used green and I still have that. So that's oxide green. It's this one. It's on my palette off screen here, but there it is. Okay, so that I put on way too thick. And it looks like the, the, the matte coating like picks up the paint quicker than it does with the gloss. So let's see how easily now I can remove this because that's way too much. Let's take clean cotton round and just wipe over it here.
So, adding some green in between the spokes or railing. Little here. There we go. Let's remove it a little bit of this metal here. There we go. Then let's grab some cerise, which is like a cherry red. Don't need very much. And that's for the rust on the railing. So we'll add that here. And then make it a little more subtle by removing a little bit. There we go. And then the only thing I have to do is some color on the ocean in the back here. Let's grab some sky blue for that. Again, you don't need very much. Like this tube, I probably have had for years already and see how much I still have. And I use this a lot. That blue. Okay, okay. So of course it's called sky blue, but <clears throat> it's blue, so I can use it wherever I want. A lot of martial colors are named after what, what you can use it for. So sky blue for the sky, obviously. And there's also tan, flash. On the flash I've used on on buildings and cars. All right, let's remove it a little bit in the sky here above the horizon. And maybe I want a very light blue, like like this wet sand area. So I'm not pushing very hard at all now. And take a clean cotton round, make it make it even more subtle. Okay, that's the matte one. Let's move on to the gloss. It feels a lot smoother too, which is to be expected. With this gloss finish, you can still see some structure too, because we rolled it on. And we'll do the same thing here. So I'll just grab that burnt sienna again. Yeah, see it's making less noise, it's much smoother. As you can see the color, it, it, with the matte it picks up a lot more color. It does so less here. If you want more you just add more. Yeah, this moves easier. A little more on the front here. Uh, 
and then very subtle in the back. So not pushing very hard. There's not too much oil anymore on the cotton round either. And then we had a little bit more here on the matte version. Isn't that a beautiful color, burnt sienna? I use that a lot. All right, so I want to remove some paint now. And as I mentioned earlier, I knew this was gonna be easier than on the mat, because I've, I've done this before, but here you can see it too. This removes, if you want to remove paint, and that's the way it kind of work anyway, when I use marshals. It, it removes easier when you have a, a gloss acrylic medium as a coating as opposed to the matte one. Okay. Back to that green that I have again off screen here. So here you can see I didn't put on as much from the start as I did with the mat. That mat picks it up fast. Okay, a little too much green here. And then again, we'll do some of that cerise in this area. did also have some more of that brown here. Sorry, burnt sienna. All right.
There we go. I want it bright and thick. And then some burnt sienna over here. Okay. Back to the blue. For the ocean. And the wet sand. And then again, a little bit here. And then it's a little too much, so I'm removing a little bit. But the ocean in the back is good. And there we go. And here we have the two pieces side by side again. The most obvious difference, of course, is that is the look of the pieces. So the matte version has a more muted look, whereas the glossy version is more shiny, which is to be expected. Also, the, the matte version lost a little bit of contrast. So the blacks became a little less black, more towards dark gray, than the glossy version did, which retained its contrast. The color appearance between the two is the same. Now, when it comes to working with the two media, I find it a little bit more easier to work with the glossy one. The matte version picks up the oils a little quicker, coming off of the cotton rounds faster than it does with the glossy medium. And also, it's a little bit harder to remove the paint, the oils, from the matte version than with the gloss version. So you you and trying to remove everything, say if you go over the lines and you try to remove some of that paint over the lines, it's a little bit harder to get rid of and you may still see some of the paint staying behind or although it's, it's so little, you may not even notice it when you see the full picture. So I find it a little bit more easier to work with the glossy version. Now, if you would ask me what I would prefer, the glossy or the matte one, again, I like it, I find it easier to work with the glossy one, but on the other hand, I like the look, the finished look of the matte somewhat better. In, in, in fact, I prefer matte looks above glossy looks anyway. So in that case, I would um, go for the matte. So I really could go with either way. But say if you have clients who buy a work, you could ask them what they would prefer, like the glossy uh, look or the matte look. So I hope you found this video useful. If you do, please hit that like button. Uh, please subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time.